guys welcome back to Ganchi plans um remember last time i filmed a video like a couple of months ago i was i basically promised that i would film another one whenever i needed to redo my planner again well that's what we're doing and i'm getting a little bit tight in here so i'm going to be pulling some things out and wanted to show you so today's gonna video is going to be sort of a semi flip through semi like set up my planner with me kind of a video um, because I need to get this done. So I'm still in the personal size rings. This is from Fuzz Josman and they sent it to me. Um, over here in the pen loop, this is, uh, these are new, this is fun. I got myself a Twisby Eco. Um, so I've just been having fun with some colored inks and not caring about them not matching, which is fine. And then I also got myself a Coletto with a pencil and eraser insert as well as the, um, gosh, what size is it? Like super micro tiny black pen so i use this for some things um and then i use this for most things and it's just fun then um let's see what's in the front oh there's like a photo of my daughter i don't think i have anything in the zipper pouch this is some notes for a project i'm working on in the office um the tabs the plastic tabs as always are from marlene's plan to create on etsy um if you have questions about where anything came from, that's it. Basically, um, there's also some, these are um, like transparency paper, you know, like this overhead wet erase transparency paper. I printed just some free um, digital scrapbook paper on them that I found online. Um, and that's that should answer all of your questions. All the inserts are from my own shop, but there's a couple that are from PS Planner Co that I'll show you as they come up. So the very first thing that's in here, is my NFP chart because I've started charting again just to be um, on top of things. I'm five and a half months postpartum, so there's nothing to report yet. Um, I think I'm just gonna, man, literally just open these and, because it's getting very tight. Uh, the next thing in here are monthlies. So this is from my shop again, like I said, uh, insert 14, which is the dated monthlies so i just have them in here for the whole year Sorry, my hands are going to be in the way um and as you can see this is where i started with the fountain pen and apologies if you can hear the ac turn on i'm starting to get some warm weather here it's may as i'm filming this hopefully i'll get it out soon um and i've started using this monthly a little bit differently um so this is the just shows me where i am in the month um, I'm using my top tabs not to designate the beginning of the section, but to mark my spot in the section. It's a little different than I used to do it. Um, but the thing I do differently is I have this column be my like projects to-do list. So I have different highlighters for different projects, um, which makes me pick six projects because I have six colors, you know, of the rainbow. Um, and so I highlight the whole thing that's like the head the title of the project and then the sub tasks are in um are just highlighted the dot so when i'm looking for things to do i come here to this and then i pull from you'll see later where i have like lists of things that need to get done and projects to add to here but these are the ones i'm focusing on um, these are to-do lists for each week and then any event goes here and i try to keep this synced with my digital calendar and also the calendar in the kitchen on the wall um so i don't need this anymore this is when i was deciding which swim sessions to sign the kids up for because we we're trying to coordinate with a friend and then we've got july and september blah 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 all the way through december so i have a couple of things you know in there dentist appointment all that this is the far future log one of these is in the past now but this is for anything that doesn't fit in 2024 we'll go on here this is last year's pool schedule. I don't need that anymore. Um, and then this was last year's monthly thing, like uh, last time done log type thing. I kept it in here for a while because I wanted to make sure things got migrated over at the right time. But now we're in May, I don't need this in here anymore. So this is, yeah, like I said, last time things got done, the next time things need to get done. Um, and I come back here a couple times a month and whenever I do the thing, I try to mark it off on here right away so I don't forget, but it does, um, the task does go onto my monthly so that I remember to do it. Then um, I decided to give these some fun titles. These are like my sort of a brain dump of like projects and things. So this one was supposed to be like 
more tasky type things that are shorter and these are more projecty type things basically this was supposed to be one day projects and these are supposed to be one week projects and maybe longer I, I basically sat down at one point and just split up my big list into like day things week things month things so this is the slightly longer ones so this one's titled you'll feel better if you just do it and this one's titled it won't be as hard as you think just good to little reminders um this was sort of a again little brain dumpy sometimes i feel like i need to write it down so i can see it a lot of things seem to sort of flow <laughs> to each other um so i was just doing things in a certain order but it didn't really end up doing that in, in that order but it was just an idea of some things that i'd like to get done and i've been checking them off as i go um, basically these go on to my monthly that rainbow list so this is just where I'm keeping like future project ideas because I'm never gonna run out of projects this here is sort of an overview of the week this is the 52 weeks future log which I do like this is also dated um, basically it's kind of showing when birthday parties need to get planned by Sometimes I like to use this to sort of designate a major project for the week. That's not the way I'm doing things right now. So I'm not really doing weekly planning, which is why you'll see I, things are getting very full. Um, this one is a penis planner co-insert. So this one is um, the cold gold planning and I use this for shorter projects, but I haven't been. I just, you know, yeah, no, I'm gonna take this out because I'm not currently using it. Then this one here is a freebie from the shop. This is the church calendar. So it gives me when like feast days are coming up so I don't forget a holy day of obligation. Um, these are birthdays and anniversaries. So for everybody, I pull that up once a month when I'm doing my monthly planning as well. Another divider. And then we get to the daily section, which is quite big because like I said, I'm not doing weeklies. I'm only doing monthlies and dailies right now, which is like very writer Carol. Um, I haven't done it that way in a long time. Um, so I'm just going to sort of flip through these and remove them. So these, actually these are unused, but I think I might archive them and use them some other time. This one, if you're interested, is the Productivity Daily. This one is the Family Daily. I do like this one, but I don't always need to use it. This is great for families that are like very busy and have events and things that kids need to be at so you have a different column for every person so you can like color code oh this is when so and so is at soccer practice and this is when so and so is at you know their rehearsal for their play or you know busy times of life like that um so those are inserts 49 and 72 respectively you can find a link to my shop down in the description uh this one was when was this january clearly that's old man when was the last time i filmed a video January this was March oh yeah for a little while I guess I was doing yeah I was this might have shown up in last month's the last time I filmed a video I was doing just like rapid log dailies for a while Let's see projects under priority what oh you know what this probably is I'm checking yeah no these are some notes for this this insert which you will see uh as we go here sort of evolve um this is an insert that i am currently working on um i've been using it almost exclusively for several weeks now loving it but i've only designed it in personal and pocket so far so i have to finish it i haven't made working on my shop one of my projects which i should um so this is what i'm calling my stay at home mom daily um and so this is what it looked like originally i had sp spots here to mark like how i felt about the house how i felt about life generally a priority for the day um, and then these here these 10 habits is something that I'm uh, doing with some friends I was invited to join an accountability group um, where we just basically text each other every day and um, you have 10 things that you set for yourself to get done every day except for Sunday for the month and you get to redo your list every month um, and whoever gets the most things checked off by the end of the month wins five dollars from everybody else so like you pay in five bucks to be part of the group and you win the pot um and so those are my 10 things so writing them out every day has really been helping me instead of having like i don't have a habit tracker for it because i'm always bad about habit tracking but having a place to I, like i write it out every single day when i'm making my daily and that reminds me what i need to get done um so that's one of the things that's been really great for me 
And there's just like categorized list I'm finding is something that I really am using a lot when I'm thinking about stuff around the house. So like I use this section for school or this one, like I had, we were going to Costco with a friend. So I needed to make a list of what we need to get there. Um, things to pack like that notes, school to do. Um, so here you see, I've added the same header that was on this one which is kind of a Hobonichi inspired um, header with the little weather doodle, which I think is so much fun. Um, and so some of these I use more intensively than others, but I've been using a daily every single day for a while. Um, and then at the end of the day, you mark off how you felt about, you know, mood, energy, and productivity for the day and a little spot for some journaling, just, you know, say what you did that day. It can really help yourself, I think, when you're a stay-at-home mom and it feels like the hours just disappear and you don't know where they went um, to be able to just look back and go, oh yeah, that was the day that this happened. You can say, oh, the baby was super fussy that day. That's why it doesn't look like I got much done. Though sometimes I do notate more recently, instead of um, putting something on my list and Xing it off, I'll add it to the list and I'll X it off with a plus sign, which means it was like a bonus thing that I wasn't planning on getting done, but I did. Um, I did a couple of those yesterday. Oh, ah. oh, this is still April. Yeah, this is a month ago. My pen leaked on me. Oh, this is uh, keeping track of the last time the kids bathed. That's a fun thing to keep track of. I'm marking off when you, what you're having for dinner. That's always important to me. And the other thing I've started tracking just the last like two days or so is putting a little check mark um, here where I mark, you know, how long it's been since they bathed and putting a check mark above their initial if um, I got some quality time spent with them. So that's what I'm trying to focus on getting a little bit of quality moments happening with every kid. If I can, I'm not judging myself for those. It's just it's like, oh, yeah, okay, who needs to bathe next? Okay, yes, the baby hasn't taken a bath in two weeks. All right, yeah. So every other week for a baby who's not eating solids yet, I don't think that's unacceptable. So there we go. That was yesterday. I'll just, oh boy. I need to fill out my line of day journal, actually. So I don't want to archive these until they are moved into the journal. But that is going to save a lot of space in here. You go through a lot of paper when you're doing dailies. So I don't know. Sorry, I know about the lighting. Um, so this guy marks the current day. I just printed out a couple more dailies to fill in here. And then this is sort of a running task list. This is sort of a weekly task list, but it doesn't get remade every single week. Um, I don't know if I, yeah, I do. Like, not everything ends up on the monthly. Maybe it should, but I feel like I'd run out of time. This is just some other things, and so it can flip out like this, and I can look at it like this if I want to. Um, I already used the side and its fill, so it lasts forever. All right, the next section, these um, stickies, by the way, are from Peanuts Planner Co. They're very sweet. This one's a uh, daily. Um, the next section here has these weeklies from when, I don't know, I should mark that. But let's pull these out as well. These are probably from March? In and out, oh gosh, no. That, this is from January also. Yep, yeah, that's January. February. So I was doing weeklies. Um, these were the same 10 items um, for my accountability group. I joined it in February. Um, I have some extras here, extra weeklies, but I'm going to pull these out for now. Oh, oh more weeklies. Here we go. This one is fun. Um, I don't think I've shown this off for a while. Um, but this is what you do with this. It's called, uh, what do I call it? Faux Dutch door. So you've got sort of some weekly overview stuff. You can have like three projects with a couple of action items, a general to, uh, to do list, and then a habit tracker here you put, I used it for 10 things and split it up, but five things. Um, and then the, these little boxes are for the habit tracker each day. So you've got your, you know, a couple of to do items for your day, time ladder, a couple more sections, you know, for like, well, I did mood and productivity there. You can see this is like getting ready to create that daily. Um, anyway, so you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then 
Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that's just fun. I like using that sometimes. So excuse me, that is insert number 28 from the shop. Again, down in the description. So I was using a highlighter for a while here. One of the kids got it to it. was marking the current week. All right, I have those. I'm gonna move things around here. The meal plan section, um, I was using this forever, but I have started putting meals up on the family calendar in the kitchen. Um, I love this insert, I'm just not using it right now. Um, I think I might hang on to one of these or something. Put it somewhere. I'm gonna make it like a reference version of this or just call this one the reference version. Maybe have a reference section in here. The, um, you know, it's nice to have some, you know, I, I, might, I might make two pages of reference meals to give myself some ideas when I'm making my shopping list. But um, you put the stuff that you have ingredients for, um, I fill in the circles for shelf stability. So if it has three circles, then I don't need to eat it right away. If it has one circle, I do, because it has like something that's gonna go bad really fast. Um, otherwise, if it's three, it's stuff that's in the pantry or the freezer. And those are my favorite kinds of meals <laughs> because I never know who's gonna eat what leftovers or what days we're just gonna feel too lazy and eat nuggets and then we need to have something else for tomorrow night. Um, then you can make a schedule for this week and next week and put other things that you need to shop for here on the back of it is where you put your shopping list. So you can say here like produce department, this is what I need, frozen section, fridge section, shelf section. <laughs> oh yeah, someone wanted gum from the checkout. And this is like the home goods type, whatever. Uh, harmonicas, oh yeah, we were reading lentil. Um, it's school, homeschool, we homeschool, by the way, if you're new here, hello. Um, all right, this one is the same, like, 52 Weeks Future Log that you saw at the beginning, but this one just keeps track of the uh, freelance articles. I, I write an article once a month for the Diocese Student Newsletter, or newspaper, um, and, um, so this just keeps track of my due dates and my titles and what's coming up. Um, oh, this one was a project list. Here's some project pages. I was getting, getting rid of some stuff, and I was like, okay, I'll leave it up on the local Buy Nothing group, and if not, then I'll put it in the the one that's, like, extra. I'm running out of stacks up here. You can't see. It's all disarrayed. Um, these were some notes for toy rotation, which I started. It's doing okay. Ask me again in a couple of months. Um, and also some notes from one of my articles I was writing. Um, oh, these are insert ideas for this. You can see this stuff here is some notes for the daily I'm working on. Then we've got notes from my two-year-old's birthday party. And some I want to try to make some more shorts, so you may see those coming up soon. Looks like I have some extra paper in here. That's always good. Then um, this guy here. This guy here is my newest, my next greatest innovation, um, but I'm going to cut it out while I tell you about it because I needed to remake it. Um, I went ahead and printed it out again and I will, I guess I cut it while I'm telling you about it. So um, one of my 10 accountability items in that group is doing something from my kitchen and bathroom rotations every day. So I have these thing, list of things that need to get done in the kitchen and the bathroom periodically. And I um, basically just have this system where every day I do one thing. So the first day I will wipe, can you see that? Okay. Yeah. First day I wipe the toilet, like that side, and then the next day I clean the toilet bowl, and then the next day I do the sinks. And then, so like once a week everything gets cleaned. And I only have to do one little thing every day, so I'm not like doing the entire bathroom in one day. Um, and since it's on my accountability thing, it does happen every single day except Sunday because it's a very good motivator having that point system. Um, but I needed to remake it because the kitchen thing got expanded. Um, 
in the kitchen I wanted to I had to put air fryer stove and sink on there multiple times because it's like a two or three week long rotation um, but that works for me I know different people have different standards of cleanliness and I know it can be easy to judge but I am the standard of cleanliness that changes the sheets on my bed once a month you might think that's gross but I cannot be bothered or find the energy to do it more often than that um, so this is the new version on. and then I've got the little flags that these just I got a Daiso I think but they're kind of transparent so I did the mirrors today so I'll put I'll highlight floor tub but then I'll also highlight I think I should get one that isn't messed up I was gonna do what's next the kids tub next I think so it just helps me keep track of where I am. And then in the kitchen today, I already reorganized the fridge. So tomorrow I'm cleaning the air fryer again. Ah. And then let's see, we've got, oh, these are notes on the um, accountability list for next month. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my monthly for next month because this is where I will keep it once I've determined what it actually is. Uh, toy requests. Cars? I don't remember. Hot Wheels, I guess? I don't remember. Um, so th with the toy rotation, if they ask for something specific, I'll write it down here and then the next time I rotate it, I will make sure to bring that toy out. That's my idea anyway. Um, oh, here's notes about swim lessons again. Um, oh, this is notes about a periodontist appointment that I needed to make. That's taken care of, thank goodness. Um, had to get a root canal last month. I uh, probably don't need this one. So I'm moving things around here. This Oh gosh, that's not great. Yeah, get rid of this one because it's getting all yucky. I need to restock, I think, some of these post-its. I just like to keep some around so that I can take some notes on a small project instead of setting aside a whole page for a project page. I don't think I need this either. I'll go ahead and archive, not archive it, but set it aside. And then in this little pocket thing in the back, I've got these little bookmarks I never use. These are the page flags from Daiso. Uh, that's my husband's business card, a few spare checks a nail file, um, an old gift card that is empty, that can be thrown out, um, and then just pictures from my kids. They make me pictures, and if they're small, they can come in here. I don't have to throw them away or whatever. There we go. I'm going to um, reorganize these and move the tabs around a little bit, but um, that that's much, much nicer, easier. I, here's a question, the moment of truth. Can I close the snap sort of not really it's a matter of the pens not the pages there we go yes all right if I put the fountain pen on top I can kind of do that it's not perfect but as you can see it's very casual these days I'm not trying to impress anyone anymore so it's working out um, but like I said hopefully I'm I'm hoping to get a couple of shorts filmed, so you might see those. I'm going to try to aim for like a short a week or something like that to try to ease myself back into content creation because it's been almost a year. I think I last posted regularly, like when we started maybe the end of July of last year when we started homeschooling. I've had a baby since then, so um, my energy levels are getting higher now that the baby's sleeping in his crib and things are going pretty well, but I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thank you for sticking around. Say hi in the comments, and I will see you. Um, see, you'll get to see this next time I have to reorganize it again, I'm sure. Um, have a good one. Bye.